Hey everybody, uh, this is a lesson. It's the first part of module 11.1, solving quadratic equations by taking uh, the square root. So this should be a review for uh, most of us. We did a lot of this. Uh, in the second part, we're going to be dealing with um, uh, imaginary numbers, but this uh, is uh, from modules um, uh, 9 and 10. A review anyway so anyway so our question here is uh, what uh, and this is mostly in the second lesson what is an imaginary number and how is it useful when we solve quadratic equations okay we're not going to be doing that in this lesson we're going to be doing more of what we've done before okay all right so let's go ahead and simplify and we'll always give our answers in simplified radical form okay so the square root of 12 all right now when I first introduced this I told students to get the prime factorization so you guys remember factor trees so 12 is uh, 4 times 3, and the 4 is 2 times 2, and so 2 times 2 times 3 is 12, and then so 2 2's on the inside brings 1 2 on the outside, so that simplifies to 2 root 3. Here's another way, so, uh, and this is the way I'm going to do it from now on, you guys, is um, uh, think of factors of 12 that have a perfect square, and uh, 4 is a perfect square, and then you can uh, square root them individually. The square root of 4 is 2, and then you got your root 3 right there, 2 root 3. Okay, it's quicker if you know um, uh, your perfect squares really well. Okay, so here, so square root of 75, well, that's 25 times 3, and the square root of 25 is 5, and then so we have uh, the root 3 left over, 5 root 3, okay? All right, okay, here we have a fraction, square root of a fraction. So we square root the top and bottom individually, and the square root of 9 is 3. So there's our answer, root 5 over 3, okay? Now, we can't have a, a radical in the denominator, so if we do, we got to fix it. It's called rationalizing the denominator. So here we go. This is square root of 2 over square root of 7, so... Uh, root 7 is not rational, meaning it's not a, a whole number or a fraction. Um, it's an irrational number. If you punched in the square root of 7 in your calculator, it would be a decimal that went all the way across your screen. And then if, you're, if your screen was even larger, it would keep going. So irrationals is a decimal that never repeats, never ends, goes on for ever and ever and ever. So we can't leave uh, radicals in the bottom. So what we got to do is um, uh, rationalize the denominator. So we're going to multiply this fraction right here by a form of 1. So our 1 is going to be this uh, radical root 7 over root 7. Anything over itself equals 1. And so on top we have uh, square root of 2 times the square root of 7, uh, which is the square root of 14. And then on the bottom, uh, you can think of it a couple ways. This is the square root of 49, or two sevens on the inside brings one of them on the outside. So anyways, there's no more radical in the bottom, so we get square root of 14 over 7. Most of you guys have seen that before, okay, that trick, all right? So here we go. Let's solve some quadratic equations by taking the square roots, okay? So here, let's go ahead and add 16 first, okay, then divide by 2. All right, now we square root. Don't forget your plus or minus, okay? So it's plus or minus the square root of 8, and 8 is 4 times. 2, so the square root of 4 is 2, and then so we have plus or minus 2 root 2. I still have some students that are forgetting their plus or minus right there, okay? All right, next one here. Okay, here are a couple ways you can do this. You can add 5x squared to both sides if you want, or I subtracted 9 and then divided by negative 5, okay? So now we don't forget your plus or minus, so x equals plus or minus the square root of 9 fifths, which is the square root of 9 over the square root of 5, and the square root of 9 is 3, but here we're stuck with that radical in the bottom again. So let's multiply it by 1, but our 1 is going to be root 5 over root 5. So we get 3 root 5 on top. Don't forget your plus or minus. Okay, and then all over plain old 5 right there. Okay. Okay, here, let's go ahead and uh, subtract uh, 6 from both sides, and now we're going to multiply both sides by a negative 15, okay? So the negatives cancel, the 15s cancel, and then on the other side, 6 times 15 is 90, okay? A negative times a negative is a positive, and then the square root of 90, don't forget your plus or minus, uh, 90 is 9 times 10, 9 is a perfect square, the square root of 9 is 3, so plus or minus 3 root 10 on that one, okay? All right, so here's another one here. So this one, uh, this one looks just like uh, your number five that you're going to be doing. Okay, I just switched it up. In fact, I think they were all, all fives inside the parentheses right there. So same problem. So you can, guys can do this. Okay. So if there's several ways to do it. I think I distributed the seven through first. Okay, and then uh, subtract uh, the twenty-one on both sides, and then divide both sides by negative twenty-one. 
Okay, and then the negatives cancel, and then uh, 14 divided by 7 is 2, and 21 divided by 7 is 3, so we divided both the top and bottom by 7 to get 2 thirds. Don't forget your plus or minus. Okay, then we got to rationalize that denominator, root 3 over root 3. So root 2 times root 3 is root 6, because we multiply them, and then root 3 times root 3 is 3. A real common uh, Algebra 1 error, you guys, is students want to cancel this 3 with this 6. You can't, because this doesn't have a radical, and this does. Okay, you can if they're both inside a radical, or they're both not inside a radical, but you cannot cancel if one is not in a radical and the other one is. Okay, that's the answer right there. Okay, all right. Okay, so here we go. Two commonly used uh, quadratic models for falling objects uh, near the Earth's surface are the following. Okay, so the distance fallen in feet at time t in seconds is d, e, uh, d of t. Uh, equals 16t squared, so that's the distance that it falls, okay? And then uh, the height in feet at time t in seconds, uh, if your object has an initial height, so if it has an initial height and they tell you about it, then we use this one right here, h sub 0 or h sub o uh, minus 16t squared, uh, where h sub o is the object's initial height height and feet. Okay, so here we go. So Jimmy is at the top of her dorm window and drops an acorn. So how long does it take for the acorn to fall 40 feet? Okay, so this is the same as your problem number 7 on page 529. Okay, so I think it's 30 or 50. I forgot what that problem is. So using the model, d of t equals 16 t squared, because we don't have an initial height. We don't know what her initial height is on that. So that's where we use this one right here. So the distance is 16 t squared. Okay, and so we're going to solve this equation. So how long will it take for that distance to be 40 feet? So we're going to set it equal to 40 feet right there, okay? Divide by 16, and then uh, what I do? I think uh, 8 goes into 40, 8 goes into 45 times, 8 goes into 16 two times. So t squared equals 5 halves, and then plus or minus, don't forget the plus or minus, okay? And then we got to rationalize that denominator, so we get plus or minus the square root of 10 over 2. All right, now we cannot divide that because 10 is inside a radical and 2's not. All right, so now we're talking about time, you guys. So we can uh, uh, disregard the negative t value because it's a time. So the, orcorn, the acorn falls 40 feet in time of root 10 over 2 seconds, which is about 1.6 seconds. All right, okay, so here's another one here. So the rooftop of a five-story building is 50 feet above the ground. Okay, so here's our initial height. So we're going to use that other formula h sub 0 minus uh, 16t squared, okay? So how long does it take the, uh, uh, how long does it take a water balloon dropped from that rooftop to pass uh, by a third story window? So here's a third story window at 24 feet high. So we're going to use, um, um, uh, and this is just like your number 8 on your assignment here, we're going to use the model h of t equals h sub 0. Uh, minus 16t squared, where h sub 0 is the initial height at that 50 feet. And we want to know when is it going to pass the height of 24 feet. So h of t equals 24. So we're going to solve that equation. So let's subtract 50. Okay, or what I do? No, I didn't. I did this. I, I did uh, plus 16t squared and put it over here because I like to do it positive. Your book actually subtracted 50 and they had you deal with the negatives. I didn't want to do that. So anyways, and then now we're going to divide both sides by 16 right there okay and then um, now you can reduce that if you want but since I'm going to take the square root 16 is a perfect square so I left it as 26 16 so you can reduce that to 13 8 but uh, because you divide it by 2 and divide that by 2 but since that's a perfect square I'm going to keep it as that right there because the square root of 16 is 4 okay so we get um, uh, plus or minus the square root of 26 over 4 right there. Okay, and then this is time, so we can disregard the negative. So the water balloon passes by that third story window at 24 feet high uh, at the time of root 26 over 4 seconds, which is about 1.3 seconds. Now, now, how you get that in the calculator is you hit your square root of 26 and then hit divided by 4, and that'll give you about 1.3 seconds right there. All right, one more, you guys. So the area of this rectangle angle is 48 square feet. Find the dimensions. And of course, these are just like um, uh, your numbers 9 and 10 
on uh, the page 530. So length times width equals area. Okay, so, so the length is 4x, the width is x, so 4x times x, which is 4x squared, divided by 4. Don't forget to uh, uh, include your plus or minus, and then square root of 12 is 4 times 3, so the square root of 4 is 2, 2 root 3. Okay, and since we're talking about length, you guys, we don't need the negative because we can't have negative length. So x equals 2 root 3, and then 4x equals 4. 4 times 2, which is 8 root 3, okay, so about uh, 3.46 feet by 13.86 feet. All right, if you guys are in our class, that would be your assignment. Take care.